Hi everybody and welcome. This is my YouTube vlog for Monday, July 15th, 2019. So today we've got a few things to talk about. First and foremost is that my wife's parents are doing much better. Her dad's out of the hospital and that certainly makes mom a lot happier to have him home. They've arranged for the things that they need to do next and everything is pretty well on an even keel. Eileen is still heading out to uh, help them out during the day. But most of all, thank you for your thoughts and your prayers and your kind words. We really very much appreciate it. And as you may have already noticed, we have better sound now on my video. Um, I finally got my stuff into some more advanced software, and this allows me to synchronize a separately recorded soundtrack with uh, the video that I'm shooting so I can get a much, much cleaner sound. Now today what I'm using is my ribbon mic, and that's this beautiful thing right here. And I'm recording it with my Tascam DR40. And um, the ribbon mic is really great for here in the studio. It produces a warm, rich sound. This is a classic mic design. RCA made a very famous ribbon mic that People like uh, Frank Sinatra and Judy Garland, uh, Bing Crosby all recorded their music on. It produces a nice, warm, rich sound, and, and I just think it's terrific. Now, the thing about a ribbon mic is that it's a little fragile, so it's not something I want to cart around with me. And it does require a very powerful and very clean microphone preamp to really work correctly. The microphone preamp I have is a sure kind of general purpose mic preamp. It's very clean and reasonably powerful, but I think in the future I'm going to look into getting something even better because this is just such a nice sound and I definitely want to do it in, this, uh, in the studio like this. Now, when I'm out in the field, I got a couple of choices. If I'm just uh, doing something and you need to hear me, I have this wireless lapel mic that I can now use to make recordings of my voice. Let's say I'm doing kind of an interview situation. Well, I have a couple of these venerable Shure SM58s, the classic handheld vocal mic. And if I'm going to record music, say I'm going to record something on a pipe organ, I've got a pair of these large diaphragm condenser mics. So I'm really set up now to do high quality sound, so you can expect that uh, from my, from my videos now. So now with things settled down with Eileen's family, I should be back on track to get some of the videos I've been promising out. Part three of how a pipe organ works is on, on track to be recorded this week and released on Friday, as I had planned to do uh, last week. I've also got a couple of other series of, uh, of videos, Who is Virgil Fox and How Did I Become the Organ Guy? Uh, those are gonna get started this week as well. I've also started putting up a weekly vlog just like this over on my Patreon page. Now let me say a word about my Patreon page before you tune out. <laughs> Usually if I post that I've put up a new video on YouTube, everybody goes, yay, that's great. And I get likes and comments and everybody's happy to hear it and see it and all that. But then if I say anything about my Patreon page is, Yes, Patreon is a subscription site, and to get the full extent of the content that I put on there, you'd have to become a patron. But I put up lots of stuff that you don't have to become a patron for. My weekly vlog will be one of those things. All of my regular posts are that thing, that kind of thing. Uh, Patreon is really where I put kind of the nitty-gritty, nuts-and-bolts kind of stuff about what I'm doing. So, for example, all of these various mics that I use for different recordings, the different types of recording devices I use, I get deeper into those devices and how they're used and why over on the vlog posts and other posts that I put up on Patreon. And those are all public access. No purchase necessary. You can just go over there and check it out, and I really invite you to do that. So that's it for today. Uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. You can also connect with me on Facebook. I got a whole bunch of links in the video description. Check those out. Lots of good stuff coming up. We'll see you a little later this week.